Hi everyone, welcome back to the New Plant Gardener. Uh, on today's episode, we've been all over the garden. I've been over to Dini's and she's setting peas. I've been back trying to dig out this bit, get this bit ready for uh, the sets of my onions. I've been tearing off a bit that I consider is too wide. First one we plant it, the, our bit, we built our bit. We didn't know the difference and we built our bits too wide. So, We're young and inexperienced, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, and, and now I don't like a bid that I can't reach across. So I find that, that if you're going to build a bid, build a bid that you can sit down on and narrow reach across the bid and do the work. And, and weed. Do. Yes. So any bigger than that or any wider than that, and then you're in uh, looking for trouble because you can't reach across it, you can't weed it. Did you get your pee? Yeah. Dean has just got a great big cutworm in the soil, as big as a finger. Oh my goodness, what size did I buy? Wicked, wicked. Great one for chicken, Bob. Yes, sir. Is so we done? finally got a bit of sunshine. Finally. It's been a long time. Hard as sweet than rain. I know. And cool. And it's hot enough in the greenhouse to kill you, but it's cold enough in there to freeze you at night time. So you got your peas? Yeah. Oh, Dean got some peas. So anyway, onions and peas could go in the same time there. One inch in depth and two inches apart from one another. What do you got to do? Dennis going to set some peas, get them going. Yeah. Now the good thing about peas is it dies quick too, so. Every three weeks you got to replant. There you go. Tip of the day. You yeah. plant the peas, in three weeks time, plant them again. I usually the cut a little roll. What I does. This is Deanie's wonderful string garden period on fur. <laughs> he blowed down more times than he'd been up. <laughs> and the snow got it crushed too. So one each deep, two inches apart. See that Bobby? It's good enough, isn't it, Bobby? Yeah, not around there. She's got some good peas here in the past. Oh my goodness gracious. I like the sugar snaps is they? yeah that's what this is and you know why i never dreamed how much i liked them no. so i started eating them at nova scotia fresh and uh, fresh used to grow them all the time she and her neighbor and i realized how much i liked them no i love them too so this is vessies here I've been all right jar jean let me get away from all the rope man <laughs> that much rope in the way there <laughs> are you gone Dale? see you later baby enough of this She's not being on no camera. So, uh, Dina's going to continue planting the. Uh... I just put three or four rows, saw? Yeah. And then it just goes up. I usually put lettuce in, in the other side of the box. So, she companion plants them with lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> and Bobby, do you like lettuce now? Now, this is the real good thing the companion plant peas with is, uh, is corn. Oh, yeah. So that. Uh, the corn is... Uh, that might be a good idea. We got them growing in the greenhouse there. Corn is your stock for the peas to climb. Yeah. But uh, anyway, Dini's going to give these a little early start. I don't usually plant them this early, but it's cold winter crop, so I don't think it's going to hurt. Now, last year we put them out just behind onions. When did we do the onions? Did it's on the video there of us doing onions. Yes, do you like the cold, so guarantee you we've had the cold a week. Yes, sir. Let's bring out my winter's coat in. I know. So this is as far as I go. It's usually right there. It usually puts a little line there. Oh, this here's peas. So within three weeks, I'll come out. And in between, well, in between the row, I'll, I'll plant another row. Like in, there's one there and one there. And so in between here, I'll plant yeah. another row in three weeks' time. Yeah. That's and keep what them, I usually do. And keep them coming. Keep them coming all summer long. Every three weeks, I've marked it on the calendar, and then I always out coming out, sticking them in the ground, right? So Dini got the uh, little baby ends again. Yeah, I got baby chicks, I got nine. We got to get a video shot down in your... Uh... Into the barn. Yeah. So... So this is what Dini's at, cleaning up her garden today. Oh, some work after all winter. Everything is leaves everywhere, and we need to have fire and burn some stuff, right? 
to do. No, it's what it's like after all winter, everything, the wind blowing the leaves around and buckets everywhere looks as a bucket. True. Because <laughs> if a tomato could go in it, I'm going to have it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So it was a wonderful day, beautiful day. The sun is out. And here's my strawberries, Bobby. Look. Remember we covered them all? Yeah. Looking good, though. I put straw on them and then we put the board on them. Huh? Yeah, they're starting to turn down. Compact it down pretty well. With the snow. Yeah. So they're the, looking pretty good. I fertilized them now last year. See in the August, look. Huh? That's ever, ever, ever bearing. Ever bearing, yep. Yeah. And can't. I got two different kinds here. So the rest of her bids, she took, uh, she's I getting them ready. Oh, my oops comes out now soon. I put oops on everything, especially if I'm putting the uh, cabbage out. So what are you putting there, dear? I'm not sure. I grew cabbage the last year. But that <laughs> bed is full. I'm going to check that bed for, uh, I think he's not growing very well. So I think tree roots is underneath. Got yeah. Got tur turning completely over. If you're, you got a raised bed, I'm telling you now, every three years, that bed got me took, everything took out. Cardboard, fresh cardboard, and then saw I put back in. Because the tree roots get something on there, and it takes over, and no matter what you plant, it never grows. No, I know, there's still... We've seen that, right? Yeah, there's still all the nutrients. We've seen all that before, every time. <laughs> and I don't know where the cutworms are coming from. Coming from somewhere, look. Tree root there. I don't know where the cutworms are coming from, but I've never seen so many cutworms. We just pulled one out, you know, too bad we never had a camera then, Bobby. Yeah, I know. But anyway, all, all my bids this year, and this is my third year for all my bids to get me, everything took out, turned over, and refertilized. Yeah, they got so, me all dug over, right down to the ground again. So this is what Danny's at today and what I'm at over in my garden. I'll show you in just one minute. I'll be right back. What are you doing now, brother? So what I'm at today is trying to get this bid. Uh, I'm taking this bid out of it. He's, uh, he's too void and you can't reach. You can't sit and reach across the bid. You gotta be moving around and I find it hard to deal with, so. Bobby, that's when we were, we didn't really know the difference. Oh, that's right. So these bids are too void. Yeah. That beard, how wide is that, Bobby? You think that's a big, that's a big beard? Yeah, that's five, five feet wide for sure, and it's too wide. Yeah. No good to get in a weed or nothing like that. No, you, you can't, can't get, get in, in there. You can't get in it. No. So it's actually going to go in the new bit over there, and I'm going to plant onions in it, and because the same thing. This is three years old, and just look. Yeah, it's tree roots, everybody. This is what's happening. What they do, so yeah. yeah. So Bobby got willows all around, and so this is these willows coming up in there. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, what's happening with your foot there? Well, for you to have the boot on. Yeah, I got trouble with my foot. Then you just look at that. Look. Unbelievable. Anyway, so Unbelievable. If your garden bed stop producing, yeah. Then this is this is always seems to be the problem. It's always an issue with tree roots, especially when trees are so close as what they are to our beds right now. Yeah, and we're tree lovers and we're garden lovers, so... <laughs> we gotta choose! <laughs> well, yeah, that's tree roots, everybody. And if you got boxes every three years, you're looking at every three years. Hey, Bobby, we've watched it. Yeah, well, this stopped producing, this stopped producing last year. Yeah. Oh. First year was pretty good. First year is always really good. Yeah, first year is amazing. Yeah, and you're thinking, well, I'm going to do this again next year. Yeah. <laughs> but then Mr. Tree finds it. Yeah, every nutrient in whatever the, the plant is trying to get, he's taking it. Yeah. Oh, that. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, if you want to uh, have good producing bids, just remember it takes a lot of work to keep this stuff going. Uh, like Dini said, now she got a couple over that we're getting ready to do this with too. Every couple of years, you really got to strip it out. Every three years, for sure, you got to strip it out back down to the ground to get those tree roots out that you already put in. That you already got. Just look at it on your shovel. See the baby? Yeah. 
long after oh, shovel yeah, off. Isn't that unbelievable? Yeah. So I'm going to take this one chucking over there when I get over there. Do yes. you want a new bit of any body sacks right over there? When I get over there planting a few onions, I'll, uh, I'll bring you over for a look. Okay. All right, brother. This is the fall rye that I purchased from uh, Revival. And I put it in that bit over there last fall and it grew for to give me a cover for the... Yeah, for good looking. And, uh, so now that the spring is here, just turn it upside down in the bed and it'll just become mulch. It'll just become part of the compost in the bed. So. Yeah, so Bobby, what's the, what's the idea of a cover? To protect your soil in the winter. So I don't erode away. Yeah, so it don't blow away on you. Yeah, that's right. So what happens with mine? Yeah, you come out in the winter time and you got this big streak of black. Looks like soot. That's right. From, from on the winter side of your feet. So that soil being blown away. Blown away. Right? That's right. So you really you got to cover your soil in the winter. If you don't now we also it. done the kelp too, right? Yes, we covered it. We uh, put a good cover of kelp on ours. Now where you got the wheelbarrow? So this is one bag of black earth. And... Uh, one bag cam that we're so far. And the seashells. <laughs> Must have been that down from my, my compost. So this is now uh, layered at the bottom, nice and thick with cardboard. And then it's all the garden clean up, the grasses and the wheelbarrow full of leaves. And the wheelbarrow full of grass. And everything that we could cut to build a bit up. All kinds of soils in there. So then I brought uh, four wheelbarrows from my own compost bed. And now I'm digging out that bit over there, changing them because that bit over there is now full of tree root. So we're digging this one out. We're going to put it over there. I'm mixing this up. What are you doing now then? So there's a bag of black topsoil. A big cow manure, and now I want to try to make it a little bit more aerated, a little with some peat moss. Okay, peat is wonderful for your garden, it's acidic, so it keeps your pH down, and there's a natural way to keep the pH down. So, I'm not going to use a lot, just enough to aerate the soil a little. And then you turn it. Looks some good looking solder now, Bobby. Good looking, eh? Yes, it is. Looks wonderful. So, I mean, I know, uh, are you just putting all onion? Just nothing else on the onion? No, I think I'm going to do onion and cabbage. Okay. This is the companions good together. Okay, yeah. So, try I it. Uh, try anything once, this is. True. <laughs> now, this is a good mixture for carrots, too. Yeah. You know, this, look. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to show it like that. Carrots are drift down through that. Then a little tip on carrots. you got to direct seed them. You can't, well, you can replant carrots. People say you can't replant carrots. Yeah, you can. But when you put the carrot back in the ground, if you curl the root, the root is the carrot. Yeah. But then you get wonky looking carrots. True enough. We done that one year. <laughs> yeah, we tried one year. We was all, all excited. <laughs> we've learned a lot since we've been at this racket team. <laughs> so, we've yeah. learned our way. <laughs> yeah, it's just trial and error. So true. The garden is uh, the garden is just one big experiment all the time. Yeah. So our carrots do love soil. It's great looking soil too, Bobby, now. I'm going to uh, get another one mixed up there now. Oh, by the way, uh, for the people that live in the general area, the compost, the cow manure from Robinson's General Store, just down the road there. Four nine nine bag or five nine nine or something. Not bad, Bobby. No, I mean, it's worth that. 
and it is caminure, so you know what you're buying, right? And the good thing is they got a big pellet of it inside there, so just go pick it up. Yeah. Yourself. And you know what? If you're doing a raised bed, you need if your raised bed is very big, you need two or three bags. You do. Yeah. If you're looking for any good vegetables at all. You need a good top saw. You need you need four inches of good top saw. The rest don't matter much. The nutrients when you're watering, they go back down through the roots, pick it all up. This bed got compost on the bottom. So it's gonna break down all summer. Boys break now. All the little worms is gonna come and find it. And all the micronutrients is gonna be in the soil. So this bid is gonna really try. So far, cost to the bid, $50. Not bad. So That's 50, a big bid. 50 bucks. And uh, I'm open to uh, I'm open the plant here in just a little bit. Okay, we got the bid put together with, uh, you see me mixing up the soils there. We're gonna try to get these onions put in. This is a mixture of white, reds, and yellows that I got from Walmart in Sarnia, Ontario. <laughs> so I went into the store, saw the onions, couldn't pass it up when I saw these onions. Bobby, we've never had luck with onions. We've never, for some reason, this is the last year. Trying. <laughs> trying onions, because. Boys, I've... if you know the secret to growing big onions, if you start with seed or bulb, would you tell us? <laughs> yeah, just just share it. Like, uh, I'm sure people out there know us, Bobby. <laughs> I'm sure they do too. And it, it, you don't have to keep a secret. Uh, I know, like, you know, I know there's tricks to all gardening, but yeah, I, I know those onions is touchy too in the family that they're in. And we've but, had a lot of issues with onion. Usually we get onion that just uh, what, what we call them Bobby multipliers. <laughs> yeah, last year I bought onion up Springdale Flower Shop. Yeah, and when we sawed it to unbeknownst to us until it growed. It was a multiplier onions, so one of these little onions turned into ten. It still grew and yeah. done what it's supposed to do, but the problem was I didn't want to set multiplier onions. I wanted to set onions to eat. So yeah. never ever got what you call big onion, have we, Bobby? No, we can't. For some reason, I don't know why. And if you got onion secrets, please feel free to. <laughs> Give us a little comment. <laughs> Sam, do you do you cut your onions like uh, the tops? You mean? Yeah, do you do you cut your onions when they grow to make the bub long? Do you do you do something different? Make the bub with the fat. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, all we're after is a bub, right? Yes. I mean, we're after a bub to make to make it, onion rings. <laughs> yeah. Something big. Oh, one under there, Bobby. Cut. We're just after a. Oh, onion to eat. So, in the past, like I said, last year's bubs end up to be uh, multipliers. Terrible. And okay. there was lots of onion, greens to eat, and all that stuff. Bobby, remember last year I caught with? Yeah, I know. My girl was a planting onion. Well, I'm perished. But the snow was on the mountain, same as this day. Yeah, true enough. So, it's not too early. That's not our problem. Our problem is not. We're not setting too early. The problem is that what we're trying to set don't, get no growth. don't be what we're looking for. Uh, and I'm, I mean, we got cow manure, we got everything in this now. So the soil, it's not due to fertilizer. No, the soil, is, the soil is going to be wonderful. So it's not due to that if we don't get none. You got one in there, madam? I think so. I yep. You got pushed down a little bit. I couldn't see you. There we go. So, uh, it's just a board. Some of this now is rotten, as you can see. So, oh, this one here got a little top. Well, I got Dean. He took right out of the picture all together. It's all right. So, uh, so this is a mixture of reds, whites, yellows, and yellows. So, now these come right from Sarnia. We might have some luck. You never know, right? Well, you don't know, right? <laughs> We're open. 
Last year, the, last year what we planted grew. Oh yes, it grew. Yeah. It's just, it's just we're not getting that bulb that we're looking for. Nope. And uh, we get scrolled, but not what we want. I've heard a lot of people say right here it's hard to grow onion. And, I don't uh, know. I don't know either. I don't know if something we're doing wrong, or if we should grow seed. Well, start onion, it indoor with seed. Onion from seed, you say, is way better. You know the variety. You know what you're getting. So we planting in January. So it's, it's good uh, idea. This is box sowing stores like Walmart. Preps, yeah. Preps, no, I'm not saying something wrong with Walmart because without Walmart, a lot of us wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't be able to pick up the groceries that we pick up, especially nope. in today's economy where everything's gone right well, to the roof. Pretty rough, wasn't it? So, uh, but yeah, it's it's just that time. How do you? And I see people on there this huge onion, and I'm like, okay, what did he do that we didn't do? <laughs> yeah, I know. We're doing something different. I'm uh, <coughs> crippling around the garden. <laughs> on his bad foot. So if it wasn't for Danny, I'd sort of be, uh, <laughs> sort of be out in the garden on roof. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of little ones dried up, Bobby. Yeah, I know. I see. You noticed that now that I got the pack open. Yeah. Can you reach in there, la? Give them a stand. That would be another one. Oh, okay. One more, Kayla. We don't put them down for a deep. Oh, we just stick them, stick them out the side of the top. Give them a little push, that's all we don't. Are we doing that wrong? I don't think so. Are we? That's hot. <laughs> I don't know what else to do with it. Any wrong or right, we don't know for sure. <laughs> and this is what we're planting today. So, uh, like Doreen said now, if you've got success, with onion. Yeah, we'd love to know your secret. <laughs> Please let us know. Give us some advice. What you do is do you trim them when they grow? I trimmed mine one year and... and killed them off. Killed them off. <laughs> I, remember, I didn't know. I remember that too. I just re watched all these videos on YouTube and I'm like, they're like, you got to cut them in order to get them. And I'm like, okay, let's try. Yeah. What do you get loose? But then they all die. Yeah, just cut them and... Uh, I got lots of little green onions too that I froze for later, but yeah, we get we get box and box and box and box of uh, of tops. Yep. Lots of tops. Yeah, I don't know about it. So this is uh, four inches apart, I guess. Pretty close, yeah. Can you reach in there, sister? And what did you do with your foot, anyway? Oh, I, I don't know. I got, uh, I've been back and forth to the doctor. I got what they call plantar fasciitis. So the only thing that really takes care of it is this boot that I got on, and you, uh... That lovely little boot there, see it? Yeah. <laughs> it pumps it up. Pumps it up. Takes the weight I don't have a lot of fun going around the garden with that. But, uh, That's what you got to do, I guess, to get better. Oh, I think we missed one right there, Bobby. Got retirement crazy. Anyway, we're not on both sides. We're never tired of this one. We've done it either. Oh, can you reach that one? Bird can't reach. Yeah. So. The inside one is always the hard one. Not a challenge. Now, I've watched video where they, uh, where they plant other vegetables with companion plants with onions. And this is with the companion plant that the onion grows really well. So, so what was he planting with the onion? Lettuce. Lettuce. And tomato. Mm. So, so where would you put a let uh, lettuce? Like here between them or, or here somewhere like yeah, that? Just putting in the middle of the in, four, in I guess. Yeah. Right? You got four you're putting in the middle. So anyway, this is it for the onions that we got from that bag. Yeah, it's not many left here now. What, what we will do is uh, 
We'll let you follow the journey on this onion bid to, uh, to see how we're going to do with it. For sure, we want old no no old bad. If it grows, you'll know. If it don't grow, you'll know that. It's good to see the site growing. It's good to see everyone participating in the site. Got a lot of people joining, coming on board. Got any questions, you got any advice, we'd love to uh, hear from you. <laughs> so we're going to try to finish up the bid. little bit of space I do have now, I'll uh, come and uh, oh, I just marked the board, look, four inches, so I can set them every four inches. So, let me take you. So the uh, onions is in the bed, and uh, Can you believe it's time to go outdoors again and winter's gone? <laughs> isn't believe. it wonderful? Yeah, we had, a, we had a wonderful winter. It wasn't really cold, it wasn't too bad at all. Didn't have a whole lot of snow. But uh, from Bob. And Doreen. From the Newfoundland Gardener. Let's keep growing on the rock. Have a good one, everyone. Bye. Bye.